We're here in St Catherine Docks at the Clipper Race Fan Zone as we get ready for the start of the 12th edition of the Clipper Around the World Yacht Race. We've got all 11 yachts here. Every day we've got boats open to the public, so you can come along and have a look around a 70-foot racing yacht and see what it's like to live on board and chat to crews who have done the race already. I've just had a tour on the Bermuda team yacht and I have to say now it is pretty cramped downstairs. I personally don't know how anybody could do that around the world, but fair play to them for doing it. Oh, it's amazing. It's, it's tight inside and then outside. It's amazing, the colourful and just an amazing place to be. Just looking along the boats here this morning, they, they're you know, just beautiful, they're really well fitted out, all identical. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic race. I tend to think I'd like to have a go. The only thing I ever could do is going up the mast. If you had to get up the mast in a rough sea waving about, I can't imagine doing that at all. Um, I think I'd have a go at you know, winding the sails and that type of thing. What would you take with you if there's one food you could take with you on your sailing trip? One food? <laughs> Pepperoni pizza and vanilla ice cream. <laughs> If you want to come along to the Dome, we've got plenty of people there who have experienced the race in previous years. Come and have a chat to them about what it's like living on board a yacht at sea. Uh, we can also talk to you about the training process that you go through, and if you're interested, we can talk about the selection procedure to get onto the race.